What's going on guys? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. Today we have a tip on motors. Two stroke motors to be exact. Did you know you have to have oil in them? Yeah, so usually I was a four stroke guy. I always had a four stroke motor. Um, when I upgraded to my Nitro Z7, it has a 200 Pro XS two stroke. Um, it's not that I don't know that it needs oil. I just ran a little too low, didn't mean to. So the oil reservoir on the motor now needs to be bled so i'm going to walk you guys how walk you guys through how to do it today and uh, we're going to get my motor back up and running the for sure way to know that there is an oil issue is your alarm's going to go off it's going to be four times i'm actually going to turn that on for you all let you hear it and hear how obnoxious it is so that maybe next time you know if it happens to you all you know what it is it's either your oil is low or you have air in your oil reservoir on the motor, which is my case. I've already filled my uh, main tank all the way up. It's full, and now we need to bleed the reservoir. So let's get to it. All right, guys, there's your oil reservoir. Clearly says oil will overflow if cap is loose. That's what we want. We want it to bleed through. We want to get it up in the tank. So we are going to take off our hood, as we have already done. We've got the motor exposed. <clears throat> you will need a set of earmuffs so that you can get water to the motor. You will also need a hose and a water source. Make sure we got this down on there good. All right. Now we will start the motor. All right, guys, it's very important that you make sure that your motor is peeing. You have to make sure that the water is getting through the motor and it's being shot out or else your motor is going to overheat. And there's the alarm for you all to hear. It is four beeps and that will go off every two minutes until you get the issue fixed. All right, so real quick rundown of exactly what we did. First things first, you have got to have your earmuffs on there. Water running directly to the motor because we are going to be turning the motor on. Next, your oil reservoir. You are going to take this cap here and just loosen it. Two or three twists. I've already done mine. Mine's full. Um, just turn it two or three times, just enough to where air is going to be able to get in there. This oil system is a pressure oil system. So what's gonna happen is when you crack that open, the reserve tank in the boat, the main tank is going to fill the reserve tank here. It is going to push the oil up through here. So just wait for it to fill. It could take, you know, it depends on how low it is, but it could take a few seconds, it could take a few minutes. It took me about three minutes because I was all the way down here. And now I'm, well, it overflowed a little bit, it spewed out just a little bit. So make sure you clean that up. And that is how you bleed out your oil reservoir system in your Mercury 200 Optimax Pro XS. I'm sure it's that way for all motors, but this is the exact motor that I'm running. Uh, like I said, Mercury 200 Optimax Pro XS from 2010. Guys, just don't let your oil get that low. Don't pull a me. Don't let the oil get that low. Keep you a spare gallon or a spare gallon spoke core, however much you want on there. I keep a spare gallon now. Just keep it on the boat. Make sure you keep it full at all times. You don't want to get stranded out in the water. And that alarm is really annoying when it goes off. All right, guys, that's it for today. If y'all like this video, if it helped you out, leave me a comment. Let me know. Like the video. Subscribe. Guys, I'm going to try and put out as many videos as I can. If you guys are enjoying these, it's something I really enjoy doing. Um, you know, I went to college for mass media video production. I love to fish. So we're going to kind of combine the two things together. So y'all really enjoy these. Leave me a comment. Let me know where y'all are fishing. I'll see you guys out on the water. Take care, guys.